What's up guys, Sean Logan here. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk a little more about some of this weird stuff that I found in the state of Idaho. And I also wanted to um, talk about like how I actually found it and why I even made these videos. Um, another thing too is like, I'm at 250 subscribers, over 20,000 views, and I really didn't expect these videos to uh, get as much attention as they've got. I guess one's almost at like 2,000 views, but I've been getting a ton of comments on here and lots of mixed opinions about these all these different weird things that I found. So uh, first off, I just wanted to thank everyone for leaving a comment and hitting the subscribe button. Um, again, I really didn't expect these to get that many views so quickly. I kind of just made these to like show some of my friends and talk to a couple people in like some Facebook groups that I'm in. Uh, but anyways, so the way I found these is I was actually on my way to Montana to check out a whole bunch of ancient uh, dolmen megaliths and things like that that I found from this website, um, which was made by a gal named Julie Ryder, who I connected with on Facebook. And these structures over in Montana, they've been very well uh, studied there. They've got astronomical alignments. Some of the structures are giant clocks. The Native Americans, um, you know, do ceremonies and stuff. It's, it's a very well-known sacred area. And they're all built on the energy grid line. Right here you can see it. Um, and then here's another energy grid line map. You can see um, that, that there is also a major energy grid line and several energy grid lines that run right through the state of Idaho not too far from the, the Montana site. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. So here's Montana, major energy grid line, and then it also runs through Idaho, which is right next to it. And then there's some other energy grid lines running off in different directions. And as I was driving to, I was actually doing a road trip and I wanted to stop by the ones in Montana, as I was driving, I just saw the Castle Rock site off the road, and I was like, that's really odd looking. I'm going to go check it out. Because, you know, I like to just to go and explore weird shit. And it turns out that, um, you know, it's literally like right around where all these energy grid lines are also. So that's why I posted all these videos. I wanted to just kind of show on Google Maps, because there's actually another weird place that I found right in the area, which I haven't gone to yet because it's snowing pretty heavily over here. So this was um, Castle Rock, which um, I showed in some of my videos from like a couple weeks ago. And then we have Magic Dam, which is right here. And then I was, um, I was just like browsing around on Google Earth, and then look at this place, this other place that I found. Oh, oops, hang on. All right, this place is called Moonstone Mountain. It's very close to Magic Dam, very close to Castle Rock. You know, all these are on on the way to the Montana site, which is you know, up here more in this area. But take a look at Moonstone Mountain. So this place looks like it would be pretty interesting to go and explore. Um, as soon as the, uh, the snow settles down a little bit, I'm going to go and check out this place. And I'll post some videos and stuff on, on YouTube so you can let me know what you think. 
again, I'm still undecided on like whether or not these are just some random freak accident or not accident, but some random freak act of nature that made them all like this. Or if, you know, they're, they're some ancient builder race ruins or something. I'm not sure, but they're really weird nonetheless. Anyways, uh, thanks for subscribing and watching, everyone. I'll be in touch. See you later.